When Blake Courtright was just an 18-year-old freshman at Regent University, he had an epiphany one day while hiking in the Adirondacks. I looked in all directions and all I could see was wilderness. And it touched a piece of me. And I felt the whole way down, the whole seven mile hike out, I need to make a film here. So he did. My name is Blake Courtright. But that I'm takes money. So first, he made a short video to raise funds and awareness. What's a 46er? I'm glad you asked. There are 46 mountains in the Adirondack region of upstate New York, over 4,000 feet. They're known as the high peaks, and the people who successfully conquer all 46 are known as the 46ers. Now, three years later, with many of his own miles logged up these glorious rock formations and many interviews with those who've gone before, the 21-year-old Blake is putting the finishing touches on his documentary, The 46ers, which has already piqued the interest of New York Public Television and some national outdoor networks. The Adirondacks, the high peaks, they ask a lot of you, but they give a lot in return. This is the landscape that, you know, that speaks to my heart. Blake says the great diversity of people that hike these mountains is part of what drew him to the project. There are people that are 82 years old and there's six-year-old kids that do the 46. And there's families and there's single people, career people, mountain people. Uh, you got folks that drive up from New York City five hours. There's folks that drive from Canada. Is there a common denominator in the 46ers that you've met? I found that this was a place that people just loved to be and nobody can really describe it. And as I sat down and looked at these two years of interviews and production and my own experience there, I felt something that was akin to love. It was this love for the mountains and it was what I saw through all of the people. And so that kind of runs as a thread through the film. And it's amazing to me how that has reshaped the approach to the documentary because it has become a love story. I can't say for sure that other people in Colorado or Maine, or the Sierras and Nevada and California don't feel the exact same way about their range. I, I don't know. But I have read a lot over the years about people falling in love with the Adirondacks, going elsewhere, and saying it doesn't compare to the Adirondacks. Why is that? I don't know. I couldn't do a story on the 46ers of the Adirondacks without climbing at least one of them. This mountain is called Cascade. And although it is springtime, I'm hiking in snowshoes and it is freezing. But you know, the wild and rugged beauty of the Adirondacks makes this a great hike any time of year. Also, something you can only do here in the winter is known as the Adirondack butt slide, a great way to get down the mountain fast and much easier on the knees. Blake says his main goal with this film was to try and answer the question, what is it about the Adirondack High Peaks that transforms otherwise ordinary men and women into the legendary mountaineers known as the 46ers? Did you find the answer? Well, you have to see the film to find the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Blake is an aspiring 46er himself, with 18 of the high peaks already conquered during his time making the movie. But he's in no hurry to reach his goal. Like many climbers who've fallen in love with the Adirondacks, he plans to savor the moments and every exhilarating step of the climb. For me, it's less and less about the summits and it's becoming more and more about the journey. I'd love to spend my life telling stories that bring people closer to God, whether they realize it or not. And it starts to, to give them a sense of something beyond themselves.